Hi children, I hope you've all had a great week. I cannot believe it's week nine of home learning. You're all doing so well. Um, I'm going to read Stickman for you today and then, I'll, uh, and then I'll explain our activities for this week. So Stickman by Julia Donaldson. Um, Stickman lives in the family tree with his stick lady love and their stick children three. One day he wakes early and goes for a jog. Stick man, oh stick man, beware of the dog. Oh dear. A stick box, the dog, an excellent stick. The right kind of stick for my favourite trick. I'll fetch it and drop it and fetch it and then I'll drop it and fetch it and drop it again. I'm not a stick. Why can't you see? I'm stick man, I'm stick man. I'm stick man, that's me. And I want to go home to the family tree. A notice says, dogs must be kept on leads. At last the game's over and Stickman is freed. He sets off for home with a hop and a twirl. Stickman, oh Stickman, beware of the girl. A stick, cries the girl with a smile on her face. The right kind of poo stick for winning the race. Has everyone got one? Get ready to throw. One, two, three, into the river they go. No. I'm not a poo stick. Why can't they see? I'm stick man. I'm stick man. I'm stick man. That's me. And I'm heading away from the family tree. Stick man is floating. He floats on and on. Stick man. Oh, stick man. Beware of the swan. A twig, says the swan. This twig is the best. It's the right kind of twig to weave into my nest. Not a twig. Why can't they see? I'm Stickman. I'm Stickman. I'm Stickman. That's me. And I long to be back in the family tree. The nest is deserted and Stickman is freed. He drifts down the river and sails out to sea. He tosses and turns till the frolicking foam washes him up on a beach far from home. Here comes a dad with a spade in his hand. Stick man, oh stick man, beware of the sand. A mast, yells the dad, an excellent mast. Hooray, there's a flag in our castle at last. Oh no. I'm not a mast for a silly old flag, or a sword for a knight, or a hook for a bag. I'm not a pen, I'm not a bow, and I'm not a bat or a boomerang, no. I'm Stickman, oh Stickman, beware of the snow. Here comes a boy in a warm woolly scarf. An arm for my snowman, he says with a laugh. I'm not an arm, can nobody see? I'm Stickman, I'm Stickman, I'm Stickman, that's me. Will I ever get back to the family tree? Stickman is lonely and Stickman is lost. Stickman is frozen and covered in frost. Stickman is weary and his eyes start to close. He stretches and yawns and lies down for a doze. He can't hear the bells or the sweet singing choir or the voice saying, here's a good stick for the fire. Stickman is lying asleep in the grate. Can anyone wake him before it's too late? Oh no, can you see Stickman on the fire? And we're going to stop there, children, because task one this week is I would like you to have a think about what could happen next. Does Stickman get saved from the fire or does he make it back to the family tree? You can decide. I'd like you to have a think about how could Stickman be used as a stick in another way. Maybe somebody could think he is a lolly stick or a magic wand. And it's up to you, I'd like you to use your imagination. You could draw or write, or you could just tell somebody or act it out. How else can stick man be used as a stick? And then task two is when you go out this week, I would like you to collect some sticks. So I went for a walk yesterday and collected these sticks. And can you use them to have a look at length? So can you find which one is the shortest and which one is the longest? And can you order them from the shortest to the longest? 
And then I'd like you to use them to make some 2D shapes. So can you make a square? And can you make an oblong and a triangle? And you can count the sticks to count how many sides the shapes have got. Can you make a circle? And if you can't make a circle, why not? And can you find something else in your house that you could use to make a circle? And then task three is I would like you to use the sticks that you've collected to make your own stick man. So I've made one to show you. But um, where's it gone? Oh, no, I wonder where he's gone. Oh, oh, where is What's this? Have you got a stick in from the garden? Maybe I could use this stick as a telescope and look at the stars in the night sky. Oh, hold on a minute, it's not a stick. It's stick run. Oh, I need to get this to Mrs. Liddy Coat. Here it comes, Mrs. Liddy Coat. tape to stick his legs and his arms on and then he always has a little leaf in, in his hat in his head doesn't he okay so you can make a stick man and finally task four is stick man lives in the family tree and I'd like you to have a look at your family tree which means having a look at who is in your family so here's an example so you need to start with you and you can draw a picture of yourself and write your name and if you've got any brothers or sisters, then you can draw them next to you. And then you need to draw your parent or parents and then your grandparents. And you can go back as far as you like. And it's a really nice way. Hopefully a grown up can help you. A nice way of seeing who's in your family. And I'm sure that your family would love to see it when you've finished. OK, um, so I hope you enjoy the activities for this week. Also, Stickman is available on BBC iPlayer if you'd like to watch it, so I can put the link in the blog. Um, I've been so happy this week with lots of lovely photos of all your hard work, so well done children, keep it up. And also a big thank you to all the grown-ups who've helped you with these activities. Um, so I hope you have a lovely week in the sunshine and we'll see you soon. Bye!